Hey everyone, I want to show you uh, my progression here on ATV racks. This is my original design. Um, I wanted to be able to carry my chainsaw on my ATV when I'm up in the mountains. This is the only chainsaw I'll have. I don't have a little small one. Well, I do, but um, a lot of times I'll go up and cut firewood and I want to use a bigger chainsaw. So I made the uh, mount to uh, carry the saw. I've been using this for a long time and there's some positives and negatives. Uh, you can go online, you can buy chainsaw holders, but they typically hold the saw vertically. Um, and, and with a long bar, I run a 30 inch bar, and with that being said, it's just too long. It sticks down too low whenever I go over rocks and stumps and logs across the trail, you know, little logs. Um, the bar will hit, and I don't want to ruin my chainsaw bar. So I opted to do it this way, and this is nothing more than a, a 1x6, two of them, with a shim top and bottom to hold the thickness of my, my uh, I'll show it to you, the thickness of the, the bar and chain, so about 3 8 thick, right in through here. It's just a spacer is all it is. And then I ran screws through that into this piece of plywood which is bolted to the rack on the quad. This worked all well and good for some time but you know like I said it's made it's a one by six it's pine and so it's quite brittle. If you can see right here over time just from the vibration of driving around in the mountains this is cracked out. And I've repaired it a few times and, and whatnot and it, and it works but you're constantly repairing it. And so I wanted to come up with a better method. So let me show you my new and improved, let's call it the new and improved chainsaw ATV holder. Bam, right there. Oh, let me give you a quick, another, another change I've made. Let's go to this side of the quad. It's easier to make out and see kind of the situation here. If you see that the handle, the, the back end of that chainsaw sticks out beyond the fenders on the ATV. So if you're on a tight trail, this is sticking beyond. If you happen to clip this on a tree, there's a good chance you're going to break your chainsaw. And I actually found myself a few times having to stop, back up, you know, really had to pay attention to that. It was always on my mind and worried me all the time, especially when my kids were off driving around in the mountains playing around. And so that brings us back to the the new version, the new and improved. So let me show you how I what this is. This is nothing more than two pieces of thin aluminum diamond plate with hickory boards bolted top and bottom with uh, a dado rabbited rabbited in. I don't know if you can make it out right here and here. I think you can. Uh, that's where the chainsaw slides into to keep the teeth on the chain from rubbing the aluminum and dulling it up. I have mounting bars. I have a 90 degree bend coming up on the back side here holding everything. And then these bars bolt to a larger bar that run the full span across the rack. I have two of them, one on each front and back bar and then I have it at an angle obviously to keep the saw from just sliding out. So let me put the saw in and you can kind of see how it how it works. I'm quite impressed with this. I've been using it for a few weeks now and so far I have no complaints. I actually prefer the, the way this is mounted and the chainsaw doesn't stick out beyond the quad. this away and uh, it just seems to work out extremely well so I wanted to show everybody then I did put a short bungee on here very little tension on it just to keep the saw I've noticed when I was going up a steep hill without it I did get to a point that sometimes if the incline was enough that this would actually be vertical and the chain the saw would want to slip out so the bungee is just more of a safety just to hold it it's very secure um, I do get a little vibration that I have to still kind of play with and figure out. I could do some shims on the outside just to keep that rattle down when I'm driving around. No big deal. I put uh, these are quarter 20 bolts all the way up through top and bottom with nylocks on everything to keep it from 
from vibrating loose on the bolts. I think it looks pretty sharp. I'm, pre I'm extremely happy with it. That's my Honda 97 Honda 400 Foreman. And this is actually my new quad I just bought. It's a 97 as well, but it's the Honda 4 Tracks 300 two-wheel two drive. I got that just so we could run around, you know, the house. It gets much better fuel economy per gallon of fuel than the foreman does. Uh, so when we go on the hill, the whole family can go. We don't all have to try to pile on to one ATV with four of us. So anyway, I wanted to show everybody that I'm quite excited about it. My new improved ATV chainsaw holder. Give this video a thumbs up if you, if you think it's a pretty cool, cool build. I'm, I'm excited. Thanks for watching.